Welcome, in front of me is an ITEL S24 and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So to get started, let's open up our settings and from here we can start off by going into the personalization section of the settings and this will have a bunch of different options for just customizing the look and the feel of the device. Now this will include things like themes uh, which you can pick from once that come with the device, you can download additional ones. You can also generate AI wallpapers. So, cyberpunkish. So apparently we're limited to how many wallpapers we can generate per day. Fantastic features. Um, anyway, here we just kind of give it some parameters, I assume. Yep, there we go. And we can generate. And this, as you can see, results in an AI wallpaper. Sorry for that. Uh, so from here, you can just download it and then use it as your wallpaper. Now going back, uh, we have uh, some online wallpapers, gallery and other things. Then we have desktop uh, settings. This doesn't interest us. Now this would be a section where you can actually create your own themes if you want to. And uh, I would say that's basically everything important in here. Now going back we have display and brightness. And in here we will have at the very top light and dark mode. Now these are the permanent switches. You also have the schedule under that which allows you to have it set so the device will automatically switch from light mode to dark mode based on either time of day or on a custom schedule. Now moving further down. Uh, we'll have things like screen refresh rate right over here and we have two options 90 60 and auto switch refresh rates this one will be the best option for a lot of the people but if you don't see much of a difference uh, between the 90 and 60 you might benefit more from the 60 as it will give you better battery life over the 90 or over the more like auto one uh, there is no reason for you to use the actual 90 as it permanently runs the display at that refresh rate while auto does both 60 and 90 at the same time and just picks the uh, one that is best best used for you at the moment so as an example right here there's nothing moving so the display will lower the refresh rate to preserve battery life but the moment i start doing this it automatically cranks it up to 90 to give me that smoother motion now going a little bit further down we have things like status bar so here we can just kind of clean up the status bar if you want to show notification icons, show battery percentage and show internet speed. Personally, I don't care about the internet speed. And uh, if I really wanted to go to like super clean kind of aesthetic, I would probably also just get rid of the uh, notification icons as this just hides the icons from here, but still retains the notifications themselves. Now, moving further, uh, we have um, I assume it's going to be under system. Yep, system and uh, system navigation. And here we have the two different navigation methods. So we have gestures and three button navigation. So we can switch between those and we also have more settings, which allows you to increase the sensitivity and also get rid of the AI assistant, which you activate by doing uh, this. So if you ever activated this by just kind of doing almost a swipe up to go home but you did it from a corner it will activate the voice assistant you can get rid of this and now you no longer will be activating it now the last thing that i wanted to show is this side panel right here come on do it again uh, and this allows you to get the side panel you can get it uh, while using any kind of application as it's visible almost permanently on every app and from here you can just grab applications and should be able to open them up in a split screen. I guess maybe not for this application, so let's try this one and... Nope. There we go. So a bunch of applications that come with the device for some reason doesn't support split screen uh, functionality, but YouTube and Chrome does. So once you find some applications that actually support split screen, we can quickly launch them. And this side panel can be edited. So we can uh, 
scroll down you can see you have edit so you can add and remove certain applications from here to well, obviously get rid of the apps that you can split screen as they are pretty useless at that point uh, for this side panel so you'd probably want to occupy it with apps that can only split screen but in any case this concludes my list so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching